Hi, welcome to Contributor Tutorials. My name is Sean, and today I'm going to show you how to use the white balance tool in Lightroom. When color correcting raw files, the first step that you should do is make sure that your white balance is set. This will help remove any color cast from the file, and it'll give you a great starting point before making any other color adjustments. Let's look at the photo below. I definitely say that this photo has a green color cast, and I suspect it's because the natural blue light coming from the right hand side and the artificial yellow light that's coming from the left hand side, and it's giving us an overall green cast. I'm going to show you how we can use the white balance tool to remove this color cast. The first step that we need to do is make sure that we're in our develop module. And the second thing that we need to do is make sure that we have the white balance tool selected. When we're using the white balance tool, we need to target a neutral area, like a black, a white, or a gray. As you can see, we do have a bit of a preview in an RGB values below, letting us know the percentage of the values. As well, if you look in the top left-hand corner, we get a real-time results showing us if we were to make that target selection as our neutral. Now, I am looking for a black, a white, or a gray, and I could select her jacket, but I really don't know if it's a, a black jacket or a navy blue jacket. So I might be safer just actually making the selection on the blinds. And I do think that looks really good. If we just preview before and after, we've definitely removed that green cast. Although the color still could be improved a little bit. And that's one of the things I want to let you know is once we do make that white balance selection, it's not definitive. We can go in and change our temperature, which is our blue yellow color, or our tint, which is our green magenta color. And in this case, I think I'm gonna warm up the image just a little bit more. And I think I'm gonna to go to my tint and I'm gonna remove a little bit of the magenta. It looks a little hot. So I think that looks a, a little bit better. Again, previewing it before and after, we've definitely removed that green cast and really made the photo look a lot more natural. I'm gonna zoom in and just previewing it before and after, you can see, again, we've really removed that green cast and we've created a great starting point. We haven't uh, adjusted our exposure or made any tonal curves and we've already really improved the photo a lot. There's another example I wanna show you and that's this one here. In the previous example, we did have a mixed lighting situation which does cause a, a color cast, but I wanted to let you know that natural light can cause a color cast as well. And while it might not be as obvious in this photo, there is a blue color cast to this image, and that's because it was shot in the morning, and rather than in the warm light of the afternoon, we were in the cool light of the morning, and it it's just has a, a blue tone to it. So again, I'm just gonna select my white balance tool, and I'm just gonna go into a neutral area down in his shirt, like this white t-shirt, and I'm just gonna make that selection. And again, I don't want that tool to be the definitive color of our white balance as much as a good start. So I'm just gonna bring the, the yellow down a little bit and introduce a little bit more blue. And I'm just gonna back off on the magenta a little bit. But I think that looks really good right there. So again, previewing it before and after, you can see that we've definitely removed that blue cast and we've made the skin tone look a lot more natural. Again, before and after. And last, I wanna just show you this image here and just basically to highlight this product, which is called a color chart or a color checker. And this is a really good tool to have if you don't have a good neutral in your photos. So if you're shooting um, scenery or objects that might not have a black or a white value or might not have a good neutral gray point, this is a really good resource to have. It allows you to make that targeted selection really quickly and it fits into your pocket. So it's a great thing to keep in your bag. I highly recommend these if you're shooting objects or scenery that just don't have those uh, black or white values. Well, I hope this has been helpful and please check back for more tutorials. Take care.